So if you are hungry all the time and if you have sugar addictions, it's the same craving for glucose from your cells, from your body, and from these vital organs. You guys, your brain is running off of glucose. It has to have it. So all of the work you do every day to think, to um, work, to work on your mindset, to work on your beliefs, to be able to take in experiences without overreacting. You've got to have a cooled um, nervous system and that means that you've got to have enough of the right kind of sugars in your brain for that to happen along with adequate energy so that you're not running um, out of energy and experiencing fatigue. That's adrenals. And if you don't take sugar in, so this is what happens when people flip and cut uh, cut it all out, and including real foods made of good glucose, then it's such a drastic change. And so really what's happening is you have a sugar, so here's a person, you have a sugar addiction and you feel out of control. And so you're like, I've got to do something. I'm going to go cold turkey and do the most extreme thing because so-and-so over there is eating meat and vegetables and lost 20 pounds. So you decide to do that and, and just eat like really low carb. So then you are going into that diet from an, a, a negative glucose standpoint in your body. So you already haven't been getting the vital nutrients your body has been asking for. And then you're gonna go and start eating things like vegetables are good and they contain some glucose, but it's not enough when that's all you eat plus a steak or something like that, like greens and celery and cucumbers and avocado. There's a huge gap for what the body is looking for. You're still gonna have problems. You might, some people will experience um, results and quick results from that. It's all dependent on each human, you guys. So you can't compare yourself to anyone else. It really depends what is the overall state of your whole body and all of your organs and where they've been at to how they will respond to the foods that you decide to choose to put in you. So somebody who has some glycogen storage, who has been eating glucose or has stores for whatever reason of it in their liver that decides to jump over to keto, they'll do okay for at least longer than another person who already started in a deficit. For example, somebody who has issues with um, chemicals, toxins, um, somebody who has adrenal or adrenal fatigue issues, they're not gonna do well on that at all. In fact, you're slowing down your healing process from the first meal. You can't eat like that. No one needs to eat like that, by the way. It's not required. Um, it's not required from an actual physical need of the human body standpoint, right? Like the body does need for all of us fruits and vegetables, plants, 100%, every single person, it does. That's the truth, that's the fact. So any diet out there that doesn't include those makes no sense at all. So you have a sugar addiction and you don't, and you don't know what to do. So, you, so what we were talking about is what do you do first? Well, the first thing you need to do is listen to this video and understand and process in what has been happening so that you get it. I feel so strongly about this, which is why I always want to explain what's happening in the body, what's happening in our cells, what do the symptoms mean? So then you can be like, that makes sense, right? Just like Joe said, like, oh, that makes sense. It's not complicated. We need to understand our bodies and their messages so that we know what to do. When you understand it, it's like, that makes sense. Let me just eat this way instead so that I can heal, so that I don't get the sugar cravings. So you need to understand you're just in a glucose deficit. Your body needs to be revamped from the right kind of storage of glucose and daily intake. So you can't just go, I'm gonna cut out all sugar and then um, not put any of the right stuff in. So it's twofold. The understanding comes first. Then you have to commit to taking away all of the crap that's taking up space in your body. And it's gonna be hard. Depending on how addicted you are, it's gonna be hard. So it's good if you can prepare yourself for this. And it's like every craving, I want you guys to think about it this way, every craving you have is like a little battle 
that you can win. And when you keep winning these battles, they go away. And the battles are physical and they're emotional. So at first, they're physical. They're also emotional, but at first your pri predominant pre priority, well, that was a tongue twister, is um, to beat the physical cravings out of your body, okay? This doesn't take very long. This actually takes only three days. So when you consume sugar, when you consume anything that your body and trillions of cells do not recognize as real fuel, as a um, nutrient, an ingredient, a, um, a food source that is authentic to a human being's body, what happens is you shift them out of neutral vibration. So neutral is like alignment. Neutral is like, oh, my cells are joyful, happy, and flowing with health. So then you introduce chemicals. So it could be like cupcakes, it could be sugar cereal, it could be Cheerios, it could be Twizzlers, it could be wine, um, whatever your vice is. So then your cells is like, here they are, and then you put this thing in and it's like toxic to it because it's not recognized. It's just not, it's like, does not compute, okay? So then the cell starts like vibrating and it's like, oh whoa, this is weird. Now, I'm still a cell and I still love this human being that I'm comprising and I don't want them to die. So, and I want them to still function as well as they can. So I'm gonna just shift over here and like do my work with the influence of sugar now. I'm going to exist with the influence of sugar and I'm gonna in exist with the influence of wine or beer or pizza, whatever. And so they do that. And then as you consistently keep consuming sugar, they, they keep consistently expecting you to consume sugar, okay? So the expectation now of your cells is the physical sugar craving. So your body thinks that this is what you do. So when you decide to not do what you have always been doing, they're like, whoa, what's happening? So they're like, and it, this is how it feels to me. So your cells are like, okay, let's say you like keep trying to quit sugar. So like for 24 hours, you don't have it or even less, like you don't have it until dinner or after dinner and then you have it. The cells are like, they don't know if they can trust you. <laughs> they don't know if they can trust the absence of the chemical anymore. So it's a trust building exercise physically and emotionally between you and your body, you and your cells, you and yourself, you and your higher self, you and the real you who doesn't actually want sugar or need it. So they're like trying to gauge your actions on what you have always done. This is part of what a pattern is and a habit too. You've just formed a pattern. So there's a pattern, you eat sugar, you don't feel good, but you keep doing it. The cells expect it, da 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 da. So then you're like, okay, I'm gonna take it away. Physically to the cells, they're like, all right, she took it away, 24 hours. They're still like moving from here back to neutral. 24 hours, 48 hours, 72 hours, they come back. They're back to normal. If you've eliminated all of the chemical foods for 72 hours, your cells physically believe you. They believe that you aren't gonna have it or they come back to functioning without it. It's not a long-term thing. Isn't this great news? So the great news is that your body's so resilient and it's so adaptable. I don't care if you drink 12 Mountain Dews a day. It's the same thing for you. You're gonna feel symptoms though because there's other things happening in the body or maybe you just, I don't know, eat chocolate every night, whatever it is. Within 72 hours, you can shift your cells back to um, where they're supposed to be. And all you have to do is take out chemicals, take out sugar, take out everything. And what you need to do is to eat only whole foods and drink a lot of water. <laughs>